There was another delay I didn't need. This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Now I was giving them two for the price of one. All this unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah. Just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. <laughs> oh, I won't. I'm retired. Yeah, well, no, give in, me out. No. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Ele não tem nada a ver com isso. Oi, daí, mano. Eu tô pouco me fudendo pra essa porra. Tá maluco, meu? All I knew they were gone already. I couldn't stop now. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. I had no choice but to keep pushing forward. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing it. Ah. Uh. 